Hello, everyone. Um, today I'll go through a quick demonstration of TIPCO EBX, which is uh, TIPCO's data management platform. Uh, EBX allows you to manage any type of data, so it's a true multi-domain uh, data management platform, uh, which will fit into your business, so you don't need to fit your data into our model. We model uh, based on your data. So I'll go through a few sample uh, domains that we have and how the tool can be used uh, from a user perspective. EBX is a web-based platform. So you choose your favorite browser and you log into the EBX uh, like any other uh, browser-based tool. I log in, whether I'm a user, an administrator, or a developer, I log in through the same tool. When I get to the... Uh, the EBX, when I'm logged on, what I see, I'm presented with what's called a perspective. Now that perspective is completely configurable. So whether, uh, depending on my security or roles, and depending how the business wants to be managed, uh, well, we can have different type of uh, domains or data elements presented to me. So if I can see, I can see I've got a list of companies, but I can also see, oh, well, I can see my... Uh, different hotels on a map. Uh, I could manage my employees. So I can manage pretty much anything, uh, any BX if I model it. If I start with something probably more simple, uh, reference data, I can go into another perspective, which is my reference data perspective. Here I've got other data tables that are available to me. I can go in my geography, have a look at my country list. Here I'm presenting with uh, a list of countries. Uh, one of my colleagues just created a domain for uh, for all the countries and then imported the data from the ISO table of the internet. Uh, I can look at these countries. Any domain that's uh, available in EBX will be automatically generating a table and a form. When I've got my data, I can export it to my favorite file format, things like that. I can obviously search. I can say, well, I want to search uh, any country that's, that I've got United in the name. Now I'm presenting with all the countries I've got United. I can double click on one record. It opens up a form that was automatically generated for me. I can see that this country has got different uh, attributes associated with it. I can see that this country has got subdivisions for the U U.S. states associated with it. I can see that I've associated the country with currencies. Uh, if I go uh, into another table, which is a subdivision table, I can see my subdivisions are associated with the country. If I open up one of these records, now it's a really simple table with three columns, but I can see it's attached to the country. I can click on the hyperlink. It opens up the same screen I was seeing before. What I want to show here is that the fact that there's a relationship between country and subdivision means that I can create a hierarchy. Uh, I can say I want to create a new hierarchy. I want to create a new view. It's a hierarchical view. I click next. I can present it with the options I have, the subdivision is attached to country, but also the country is also attached to region. So I can click, all right, create that on the fly, create and apply. Now I've got my hierarchy presented to me and I can go in and then review all the, the data, just another visual way of navigating through the data. Another quick uh, view of another reference data, the next classification code. So this is the um, North American industry code. Uh, again, available publicly. I can say, well, okay, I can see what utilities, there's different subdivisions in each of these um, choices that I have. So I've got this managed my reference data in my EBX. Now if I go into something a bit more interesting, now I can access other perspectives depending on my uh, security. So I can go into master data. I can go into legal entities. For example, today I feel like having a look at my legal entities. I can review these different uh, companies. I can open up a form, uh, uh, a record. This opens up uh, a form that I've that I've con configured another way. It calls up 
uh, third party services over here it's uh, getting data from from the web for the stock price which also getting the map from Google Map there's different information uh, available to me now I'm managing my master data for legal entity but I can also connect it to my reference data so previously I had uh, I've shown the reference data for the next industry code well I can attach those codes without managing it a duplicated way I'm just connecting to them uh, in the legal entity domain I can also attach it to my I don't know if I've got an HR system then all my employees could be there and I could attach it to them uh, but the fact that it's attached to in this case the industry codes means that I can view my legal entities by industry now so I've got my same um, the same hierarchy I've just seen before, but now I can see that the uh, different companies are attached to different industry codes. So it's a lot easier for me to navigate. Uh, and if I wanted to, to make modifications there, I could as well. The one other point is that well, this EBX tool is truly multi-domain. Here I can also manage product. In this case, the demo example has got a, a bunch of of burgers available here. I can open up a record. I can review my burger and let's say, I don't know, I'm looking at that. I can attach digital asset elements. Over here, there's the uh, a picture and two pictures attached to it. I can review the nu nutrition facts. And, and, and let's say, for example, that I, I notice a, a problem in this data element. As you can see, my, my user is read-only, so I can't just override. And really, in a governed way, I would not want anyone to override that. I can say, well, I notice that there's a problem somewhere. I can click on change request. Now, this allows me to override the data, but it's important to understand that I'm not overriding the production data. I'm in my own sandbox data where I can make modification uh, because I know what's happening and I can say uh, an extra line here. Maybe I want to change some nutrition fact. Maybe for whatever reason, there's 50 grams of saturated fat. Um, I'm saving that. Oh, now I'm presented with an error. I can't have a, a saturated fat bigger than a total fat. So maybe I need to fix that. And only once it's fixed, that I'll be able to to submit my changes to the data steward team, which I'm going to do now. I can say, I'm going to submit that, change some things, and I submit for approval. Uh, if I go back to my product and I open up the thing I've just changed, nothing's changed yet. Uh, it's gone into a queue for someone to look at it and approve it. I also want to show that I could visualize this Another way, I could view my uh, cheeseburger, I can review the ingredients in a graphical way, and I could collapse the product line, what's it part, part of the burgers and sandwich. So you, so you can visualize your data multiple ways. Now, if I log out of my user, and I log in as my data steward, Now I'm presenting with another perspective. I can go in my inbox. I can see that uh, someone's updated the product. Now it's for anyone from that team to come and decide if it's okay. So I can take and start that. I can review that there's an extra thing, maybe the things have changed. I can check the history of the record, which is great for auditing purposes. I can say fine, okay. This is approved, and only then it's going to be written back to the, the project data. And again, I can now log out of my person and review other things, but I can, I can also manage any other type of domain. If I wanted to manage my uh, metadata, I could as well. But in terms of uh, demonstration, uh, I know that now I'm pretty much at time that I had. Uh, what we've seen here is that EBX utilize uh, a different approach to master data, uh, and not just master data, any data management that, uh, that you want to do, because we model 
in terms of your business and not the other way around uh, so that you've got one place to give uh, all your operations data, your analytics data, your governance data, one place to obtain accurate data and more importantly, consistent master data about any domain that you want to manage and that matters. I've also showed how we be external hierarchies. Uh, unlike some other tool, you don't have to define different uh, hierarchy views. As soon as there's a relationship inside of your of your um, data, you can create a hierarchy. Uh, I've shown how uh, you can also have hierarchies throughout domains. So the uh, the master data domain can have a hierarchy on the on the reference data domain, like uh, through country codes or through classification tools. Finally, I've shown how uh, EBX handles governance uh, through the users of workflows. So remember that master data is a business problem that requires feedback from your business stakeholders. Uh, after all, it's often only the business experts in your organization that can verify that the classifications are right, that the right cost centers were assigned to a supplier, uh, and so on. And, and with that, uh, I understand this was a really quick demo, uh, so I urge you to schedule some time with us to see a demo in person that's more relevant to your business, so we can answer and discuss more about uh, your needs uh, for managing your data. So thank you. Mm -hmm.